Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Rear Station here, and this is going to be episode two, or was rather episode one, official episode one of Shoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Season Two. So, from what I heard, Season Zero, I mean, Episode Zero was not originally planned and was more or less made at the last moment, which does show in how some of the visuals look off. I did, I think, I believe I pointed it out. And like, there was something added at the, you know, last moment, like it was meant to be, that's why it was apparently outsourced. I guess it was a last minute decision. And that's very, that's very, uh, that's very annoying to kind of know. That, that could have just been an OVA anyways, the way it was panned out. I know it is kind of a segue back into things, at least from a different from a different perspective aside from Rudius, is because we've been following him like that all this time. We barely get to see much of anyone else's perspective, except a little bit of Paul's and a little bit of Roxy's and Eris to some degree, but uh, not enough. <laughs> the, there, there is a complaint I have when it has Mishoku as much as I love it. Um, that I felt like there could have been like anime wise could have been a little bit more perspective you know vocal perspective from the other characters yeah a little bit more of that I'm not saying there wasn't I already mentioned who got who else got it I just wish there could have been more that, that that's just that's that's a nitpick I have I'm not saying that's a actual issue but in, in the end because in the end it still doesn't feel like the world revolves around Rudeus at least so that's still good now we're gonna get into what i'm familiar with as someone who's read the light novels but not really caught up i'm very fucking behind i think i'm episode i think i'm on volume 11 12 and i don't remember I, I like i gotta check later on but yeah um this is gonna be adapting one of my more liked like uh, really preferred arcs because it serves as a transition for for Rudeus as a character like trying to get through things like or at least in the pro like the, the aftermath of what happened with him and Eris regardless of how you feel about it they're doing something with him his character that is very very interesting you don't need to fucking agree with it on moral terms but it's progress it's not objectively bad in terms of a writing standpoint from a moral standpoint it's very I don't want to yeah, I hate when people say it's not morally subjective that he's wrong. Like, this is what I hate when what the the criticism of Shogun Tensei is. Just say you don't like it, All right? Like, you have shit like fucking Berserk, Evangelion, Attack on Titan, like with all these other very questionable su topics and and subjects in there as well. And those are supposedly herald masterpieces that everyone should unanimously love. No, no, no. Don't get don't get me started on that. Don't. I'm not hearing that. <laughs> if one's got a, a particular a particular preferences, right? But I, that, that's all I gotta say. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump into it. Uh, ooh. I I I'm try. I I hope I don't get you know pick up the wrong recording when I have to put this up later. And I still I, you, you see I got this on one. I just recorded it a while ago. And uh, please do check out that one now as well. Um, uh, did I get the right banner up? I I realized a little early on that I had the wrong banners up for for the Zom 100. So yeah, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, uh, let me check some other things. Make sure everything's uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, let's get uh, to this. Shoko Tensei episode 1, officially episode 1. 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Oh god, Kadokawa.
Just a pastime, huh? Hey, my girl Sarah. What's up, baby, baby girl? Wait, which is heads and which is tails there? Ah, uh, Rudy. Oh, no. You're almost reincarnation. Sorry. Shira, it, it was Shira's fault from Big Boy Rosie, if you're wondering. I just got hitched along with her, right? It's a kind of like how the how awkwardly they're depicting this, you know, sort of sort of moment here. Yep, she has. Yep, she is literally like Eris, right there. Well, there's more, but. Depends on if you know where to look, but he has no clue. Mm-hmm. Well, there's more to it, but I feel like, yeah, we just get, we get used to that. Whatever missing is there, you, you just go, go get a little pamphlet and read it. Oh, you just, you just pay the whole thing, man? Well, he doesn't even... What about Nick? My guy is just barely even talking to anyone else. He's just... He's just... Regressing. He's regressing at this point because of how... Much that... How much that moment with Eris when she left him. Ruined it because, like... He, that's where he was just left alone. Totally alone. Yeah, but if you don't get over it, then... Man. That's why they didn't really change Rudy's, you know, Rudy's still got that baby face. 
Oh, dead end. Yeah. Oh, no. He doesn't want to. So what? I'll manage. He's still, yeah, he's still relapsing because this whole, because it hurts to just have to disband because that's when there was happy times and all. Because it was just, it was such fun times that like, yeah, it was rough, but he doesn't want to erase that. Yeah. Let me just join, let us join in then. Don't say that, man. <sighs> Not exactly warming up, of course. Yeah. I I I, I understand how he feels there. That's perfect. I mean, yeah, even if she's pity, at least she's, she, at least she, in, in, she's letting you know she cares. I wouldn't just call it as heart, as just like, just like obligate. It's just. <laughs> oh Oh, I see wine Yeah That slight mentioning of those sub of the seven rank. <laughs> More like he couldn't sleep. Hmm? He's, he's still stuck to, yeah. I don't think at the way he's in right now. I don't think he's re he's not ready to have a full trust in anyone. He's just that's what, what depression does to you. You just put you're just not ready you're ready to chum up, you know, get warm up more up to anyone else that easily. You're just reluctantly just kind of tag along like, oh, he helps like uh, I guess. But these are people that you know they're trying to be they are trying to be nice, trying to
Oh, because she has a... Yeah, she has a... That's what he's thinking. Right? She, has a, she has a thing to pick with Assyrian. Assyri oh. Hey, that does seem similar. Yeah, well... At least, uh, based on how he looks, perceives it. Mr. Grizzly. Bruce is listening, but is he listening? And she's not exactly familiarized with them. Do you think she has a history with um probably has a history with Assyrians the bad way? Wait, so this was the image everyone was was complaining about at one point? Before the series started, or the season started, <sighs> she. That's why she, the comparison errors is is kind of uncanny. Well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. It just means Rudius isn't um, isn't the one of the kind deal. I mean, we've already seen that with um, we've already already seen that with Sylphie because Rudius taught. We just helped teach her as well. Granted, she did. She she isn't. At, she wasn't as well. She she didn't was as trained or honing as, it as Ruiz was from Lurie when he was a baby. Kind of fun. Kind of interesting how to see these monsters and how they live. Apparently, these bears, unlike the unlike real life bears, they are living in groups. Wow, damn. Now make it out skated too. Ooh, nice. That's a nice nice two D flame effect. I don't think everything's gonna go according to plan. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's some, they're coming. There's more. Black Grizzlies. Oh, a different cut. Wow. Oh, that's what they were covering by for protection. Oh. This was unexpected. Oh, fuck.
<laughs> wow. Oh, try to stay optimistic, try to see if you can get out of it. Oh. Uh, it's still a delay. It's <laughs> It'd be funny if the sword just felt just. <laughs> she got hit. I got hit real bad. Everything is just happening in slow motion for him. Wow, <laughs> just use she's using the why there's still more. I remember it's like why they just stand and fight. It's like turning tail would be easy, but like that didn't solve anything. Don't just keep running away from your problems. Oh, they cleaned it up from the trailer. Oh, to turn these guys into barbecue bear. Woo! What is this? It's glorious. Wow. Oh, nice. Help the bear. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Oh. Who's up some smoky bear tonight? <laughs> then you just gotta skin him like. That's what you just do in Monster. You just skin him, get the skins, get whatever gems there, teeth, nails, anything that's precious, like that you just turn into the. Get Turn in for what to just forge whatever. What's it? What's this shit? Breath of the Wild. Not Breath of. It's more Monster Hunter though. His hands got his hands are burned. Yeah, she's warming up a little bit. She's opening up a little bit. That's nice. Oh. Of course, there will be just those people that just don't, not welcome, with very unwelcoming eyes. They did, those guys don't know, like, what the, that it was just like a, a hold up. Like, they ran into bigger problems than what was, than what was loaded, than what the job loaded. It's like, and that's, that's his diversion. Oh, we're just here to celebrate our first job. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for now, it's a little 
it, like it's a, it's a temporary spot, but he, you know, he still he still got that. There's still that big bigger issue, and of course, like at least he at least he got company for the time being. But even that's like a. T but yeah, it's. Oh, that, that was a that was a rock. Well, yeah, because he was just—he was just kind of just living, going through the motions, trying trying to go with things. It was like take ease. Oh yeah. She She really looks up to her she really looks up to her a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> just, but now just toss away the, toss away what was, what was, what was in the past said and done. Try and move on, man. Oh, and there goes the hair. Well, good luck, Rudius. Oh, is that gonna is that gonna be that scene? Oh well. <laughs> this yeah, I did say it was one of my favorite arcs, but it's more like oh, it's not like a lot of things happening. It's just kind of like a like a little introspection to how Rudius is trying to handle things, and because the anime, like. Because the anime, in a way, is more of trying, is more of like a, a visual storytelling of sorts, and it. I do wish it was a, a better directed, but I think it's in this case. It's where um, Rudis is trying to get, trying to you know, he's just he's just wandering about, and, and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. He's just wanting, he's just going through the motions at this point, trying to look, and he hasn't trying to, he hasn't done anything to try to get over it. He's just gone, he's just kind of like, he's, he's sunk in this depression. Because it really hurts, like, you could say it's kind of pathetic the way he, it turns out. But, a lot of people don't, there's, there's thing, a lot of people don't have that same sort of tolerance level or that willpower, whatever you may call it. To be able to deal with things, and remember, Rudius had had a crap, had a had a had a dog shit life, <laughs> a past life prior to. Like at least it's not really, like, it all it his past life, his past life does haunt him a bit, but it also reminds, also lets him reminds like, oh, I gotta keep moving on. I can't just stop there because I've had that shit worse in my past life. I cannot just. Regress back. Regress back. I need to just keep moving, and we we can't look at the even when he says that it, it, we can't just say oh he's gonna he's gonna suddenly go up. It's gonna be a struggle, for better or worse. And it's it, it's not in the more and those struggles are not glorified in any way. I don't think we're supposed to glorify some of the rough some of the rough questionable points on Rudius's case. We're not here to defend. I'm not here to defend it. Because it's not, because why? It's not glorifying it. 
I like I do not care how you feel about those but from a moral standpoint, it, that's your thing. That is your thing. That's how you perceive your faith. Keep your, don't try to get me, keep me out of that from your from your personal standpoint. The thing is, it's actually doing something progressive, something interesting. It's like, oh, how are we gonna get, how are we gonna see this guy try to better himself or how he goes through things knowing how he's been before. You know, it's hard to get on a, it's hard to get on the good, it's hard to feel good, you know, get on the side of someone like him, considering what he's done in his past life, and how he looked in his past life, and how he initially comes off in his current life, but then now knowing it's not everything comes, e not everything comes easy, come easy, go. So he's going through it, and that's why it's also very, uh, that's also why he's had that sort of awkward first in that those awkward sort of interactions with um with the group with the group that he with with the group that he's in and they're being nice to him though they're being nice to him though Susanna Patrice Mirmir and my my girl Sarah um Timothy uh I'm not gonna I don't I don't wanna I'm not gonna spoil like what's gonna probably happen to one of those people one of them Sarah is actually like she's not uh deep or anything but no but um considering that consider, considering that we we heard the mentioning of our certain like you'd have the thing like she's she has a uh th th there's a there's there's also another reason why like there's that's kind of befitting that we just kind of sees Aries Aries in her or at least how that's how Aries initially how she comes, you know, Ares did grow up. I mean, she still has that sort of proud, that sort of prideful uh, self, but she's done, but it's done in a way, but she has more restraint. She's more, ma she's more mature. She's more like, uh, you know, yeah, she's not, she's not a genius or anything, <laughs> but she, she has a, she's, she's, she has really progressed ever, ever since the, that first meeting. And I don't think Sarah's gonna get that same level, but she's someone I know that can that could, that can change once we like. And of course, it's you can say it's predictable, but but I think like but I can also you know see from Sarah's perspective like how like who's this guy that just kind of, just just kind of acts so nonchalant about everything, just joining our team like just joining up like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can you can you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, like I said before, if I missed anything, or if I didn't perceive anything, because like I want there are things I want to say that, that I know, but I'm just kind of like it's something that I kind of just look at after I watch it, um, you know. I, otherwise, like I'd be pretty lost, and of course, there's a lot of other things in mind, so. I do apologize on my behalf, on on that behalf. So it is limited. The animation is well. To be fair, to be fair, like yeah, there's more still from, but to be fair, otherwise the qual, otherwise visually, it looks more or less the same as season one. There was just not as much movement. I mean, at this point. It doesn't need to be as much movement. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that whatever's gonna come in the next episode is gonna be pretty big, and it's gonna be quite, the, you know, the highlight. And the thing, and uh, just <sighs> I think there's there's also a thing of where like Rudis is kind of being a magician. Also, you know, it doesn't mean he's uh he's Omni, he's like overpowered or anything like he's still because he's a mage he doesn't have like that sort of physical strength or prowess so it's not like he can just always solo things unless it be just like just nuke 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 which he can do but it's just like it's so one sided and just trying to do all that by his own is very ill advised that's why it's kind of timely that Susan just oh you want to join just come on just come on in we're open and I can I, I do honest, understand why Ruiz looks at it as like oh she's just pitying me 
she does she did that out of pity because that's what you try to usually do because you don't want to see people because you don't want to see someone else in the, the, in the, in the downs and dumps but i'm not saying she's the, it's not like she doesn't completely care or just doing obligations just she just doing you know, so oh you you just want to help out and the thing with like human like with us humans it's just that do we want like there's nothing there's a it's very very hard to say when it's okay to reach out or when it's okay to not not reach out and when someone is it when someone like Rudis is in quite despair I mean he, he doesn't want to let go of dead end of course and he he literally had like a he literally just has like a very uh, how do you call this is one of these you know I don't want I don't want to say seizure but more like a moment where you you're putting through so much stress that you start that you start to really have trouble breathing or moving like that. It's like an anxiety attack of sorts that I think that, that that's just what I think happened. And so you you see someone like that and you if you're a good person if you're a good person and you're just not like just going through the most going through the most. And I know in real life a lot of people just kind of ignore something like that, but it helps when some people will just be like will just come up and say, "Oh, you you all right? You all right, buddy? You want to you need some help or you want to join like if you if you want, I could just try to help you out with something." Then that's what that's what I was trying to do. And of course I you know. So I wasn't wasn't fond of that idea cuz he just looking at it cuz he was just he was just tagging along. He was just not having a a good first impression as someone who just doesn't even want to fucking speak. But yeah, there's a there's a bright spot for Rudis, but it's like yes, yeah, it's, it's not gonna be all sunshine and flowers, of course. This is Mushoku Tensei after all. Anyways, that's gonna do it for episode episode one, official episode one of Mushoku Tensei season two. Smash the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Follow me on. Support the YouTube channel, join the Discord server, share the video about all the good stuff, but that'll about we'll do it for y'all. But this edition of Shoko Tensei. Real session signing off. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great day. Peace.